Hello friends, the International Space Station, ISS, is a colossal scientific laboratory that orbits Earth. A product of unprecedented international cooperation, involving the United States, Russia, Canada, Japan, and the European Space Agency, the ISS serves as a microgravity environment for conducting scientific research, developing new technologies, and educating the public about space exploration. China's entrance into the realm of space stations with Tiangong marks a significant milestone in its space program. While the ISS is a product of global collaboration, Tiangong represents a standalone effort by a single nation to establish a permanent presence in orbit. Named Heavenly Palace, Tiangong is China's ambitious project to conduct its own space research and development. Although smaller in scale compared to the ISS, Tiangong is a testament to China's growing capabilities in space technology. Let's us know more about Tiangong, the Chinese space station. The birth of a space station. The concept of a Chinese space station was first proposed in the early 2000s. The project gained momentum with the successful launch and return of the Shenzhou series of manned spacecraft. The ultimate goal was to establish a permanent human presence in space, conduct scientific research, and demonstrate China's technological capabilities. Construction of Tiangong began in earnest with the launch of the core module, Tianhe, on April 28, 2021. This module serves as the backbone of the station, housing living quarters, life support systems, and the core command and control center. To enhance the station's capabilities, two additional modules were added. The Wendian Laboratory module was launched on July 24, 2022. This is the first lab module, also serves as backup to core module station control and management functions. Equipped with an EVA airlock and a 5-meter long, 16-feet, robotic arm. Another laboratory module, Mengtian was launched on October 31st of the same year. This is the second lab module with cargo airlock and payload transportation system. These modules significantly expanded the station's research capacity, providing dedicated spaces for scientific experiments in various fields such as material science, biotechnology, and space medicine. Why China launched its own space station, Tiangong. Independent space capability by successfully constructing and operating Tiangong, China demonstrated its ability to independently conduct advanced space missions. National prestige, Tiangong has significantly enhanced China's global standing and prestige. Geopolitical influence, by establishing a permanent presence in space, China aims to increase its influence in international space cooperation and decision-making. Developing space industry, the space station project has stimulated the development of a domestic space industry, created jobs and fostered innovation. Conducting space experiments, Tiangong offers a platform for conducting scientific research in microgravity conditions, which can lead to breakthroughs in various fields such as material science, biotechnology, and space medicine. A unique design. Tiangong boasts a unique design that sets it apart from other space stations. Its modular architecture allows for flexibility and future expansion. The station's configuration, with the core module at the center and the laboratory modules attached on either side, creates a stable and efficient layout. One of the standout features of Tiangong is its robust docking mechanism. The station is equipped with multiple docking ports, enabling spacecraft to dock and undock seamlessly. This capability is crucial for resupply missions, crew rotation, and potential future expansion. Let's compare Tiangong Space Station with International Space Station. The Chinese space station is much smaller than the International Space Station with only three modules, compared with 16 modules on the islands. The Chinese space station Tiangong is 180 feet long and the International Space Station is 356 feet long. The Chinese space station Tiangong is just 77 tons in weight against the International Space Station that is 450 tons heavy. One important thing, in 2030, the International Space Station will come to end. It means, China will have the world's only space station by 2031. NASA is evaluating commercial proposals for vehicles capable of decommissioning the ISS. Some of the key research areas on Tiangong include Material science Studying the behavior of materials in the microgravity environment Biotechnology Conducting experiments in areas such as protein crystal growth and cell biology Space medicine Investigating the effects of long-duration spaceflight on the human body Earth observation, monitoring the Earth's environment and climate change. Global collaboration. While Tiangong is primarily a Chinese space station, it is open to international collaboration. Scientists from other countries have the opportunity to participate in experiments and contribute to the station's research agenda. Future prospects. Tiangong is now in an operational mode, hosting three astronauts at a time for six-month stays. 
It can also support six astronauts at a time during crew handovers. China plans to expand Tiangong with additional modules in the coming years. They will build 180 tons, six-module assembly in the future. The country also plans to launch a Hubble-class space telescope, named Xuantian that will orbit near the station and dock with it for repairs. It will be able to dock with Tiangong for maintenance, repairs, refueling and upgrades. Other improvements planned for Tiangong include 3D printers and developing intelligent robots, upgrading connectivity and robotic arms, and developing a space debris observation, detection and warning system. A multifunctional expansion module with six docking ports will first be launched in the coming years to allow this expansion. This will dock at the forward port of the Tianhe core module. Full-size modules can then be added to Tiangong. Tiangong is designed to be used for 10 years, though it could be extended to 15 years and will accommodate three astronauts. Who makes the rules for space? The UN Outer Space Treaty of 1967 says nowhere in space can be claimed by any one nation. The UN Moon Agreement of 1979 says space should not be commercially exploited, but the US, China and Russia have refused to sign. Now, the US is promoting its Artemis Accords, spelling out how nations can exploit the moon's minerals in a cooperative way. Russia and China won't sign the accords, saying the US has no right to make the rules for space. China's Tiangong space station is a remarkable achievement that showcases the nation's commitment to space exploration. It is a symbol of human ingenuity and a testament to the potential of international cooperation. As the station continues to operate and evolve, it is poised to make significant contributions to science, technology, and our understanding of the universe. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please like it and subscribe to our channel.